This video is about the working point from a transistor. It describes how the transi transistor is set to a certain mode and uh, the effects of that mode, the way the transistor amplifies. This is a very simple one transistor circuit with an NPN silicon transistor and the amplification, this is a grounded emitter mode, is set by the ratio between the resistor in the collector lead and the resistor in the emitter lead. Here this is 1K and this resistor can be changed between 1K and 0 ohms. So when, for instance, here the resistor is 1000 ohms, and we set this resistor to 100 ohms, the amplification from the complete circuit is 10. This also has a lot to do with the value from this capacitor. This capacitor um, decides in which frequency band and also how well the transistor amplifies. This uh, potentiometer here is very important it sets the working point from the transistor, and that's what this video is all about. So, um, I want to demonstrate that now. By changing the value from this um, potentiometer. Here you see the circuit in real. This is the potentiometer to the base from the transistor. Here you see the transistor. This is the uh, potentiometer in the emitter lead, it sets the amplification, and we put in this circuit uh, a sine wave uh, oscillation from approximately 700 Hz. It's led to the base by this um, capacitor. So now I want to demonstrate what happens when we change the value from the 25k potentiometer. This is in, in essence uh, a circuit in which the wave must be amplified pure and exact. But when we change the value, value from this potentiometer we see that the whole circuit doesn't act linear any longer. So the sine wave is not amplified well, not amplified properly. So this also means that when you want to make an amplifier, a linear amplifier, the transistor must be uh, set very exactly to its working point. So this uh, resistor, this potentiometer is very important. In real you will find in many circuits on the internet and in uh, documentary you will find two fixed value resistors. But when you do experiments it's strongly advised to use a potentiometer to set each transistor to its individual working point. It's very important. I want to demonstrate it again. You can see that the waveform gets distorted. The, amp the sine wave is not amplified pure and exact. It's also, I also want to demonstrate now how this resistor works. Here we can set the amplification, and that is this potentiometer here. And I'm going to turn it now and demonstrate. Uh, the effects. Now I raise the amplification and you can also see that the sine wave gets distorted and changes to a square wave. Now there is no longer um, linear amplification. The, the sine wave signal is changed at the output to a square wave. So that's also um, not good, not good when you want to make a linear amplifier. So, um, 
hold the amplification under control by, ch by choosing a right value for this resistor. And also for this capacitor, this capacitor decides in which frequency band this amplifier works. So now I want to demonstrate two effects, a too high amp amplification and a non-linear um, working point from the transistor. And you can see that changing the value from these potentiometers has dramatic effects on the output from the transistor. The sine wave is now changed into a needle pulse and now into a square wave. And by the way, this is a also very well usable as a simple audio amplifier, one stage audio amplifier. And you can take the signal here from the collector. This capacitor uh, can be uh, between 470 nanofarad and 10 microfarad. So this is the output. Uh, this is the location where you can find the output. And that's also here. This is the capacitor, 100 nanofarad. And here you can take the signal out.